His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received members of the representatives and Shura councils and senior state officials today. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation and unifying stances in order to eliminate dangers and challenges facing the nation. He stressed the need for increased awareness at both Gulf and Arab levels in order to achieve the best interests for Bahrain and brotherly countries. He also emphasized the importance of foiling all attempts aimed at threatening the unity of the countries and their societies. His Royal Highness affirmed the government provided the people of Bahrain different services in the fields of health, education, housing and many others. He expressed pride in the cooperation between the government and the Representatives Council and their efforts to benefit the country and its people. He confirmed that the government takes the Representatives Council's requests into account and implements them in order to achieve citizens' aspirations, which are the Kingdom's top priority. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the government will always overcome challenges to achieve the aspirations of the country and its people, pointing out that the government work on speeding up projects related to citizens, stressing that the government's keenness to provide high living standards for the people of Bahrain.
Shal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today. His Royal Highness asserted the importance of activating the role of the Child Protection Centre of the Ministry of Labour and Social Development, directing relevant ministries and authorities to reconsider child-related legislation to deal with any issues of children's exploitation. The Prime Minister also directed the Health Ministry to continue its precautionary procedures against the Zika virus to prevent it from entering the Kingdom in cooperation with international organizations and coordination with the Supreme Council for Health. He also directed to guarantee the provision of all kinds of medication to avoid any shortages in the pharmacies of government hospitals and health centers. He directed the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning to provide necessary infrastructure needs for Shakrakan village such as sewage and municipal services. The Prime Minister also directed all the ministries and government bodies to follow up the needs of the people which are published in the press or any other means including inquiries about housing services. He confirmed the government's commitment to meet all the needs of Bahrain's villages and cities. His Royal Highness followed up on the administrative and technical procedures undertaken to move fuel tanks from Arad to Bahrain International Airport. He also directed to speed up the implementation of the project, taking into consideration all safety measures. The Cabinet meeting discussed a number of issues on its agenda, including a draft law that allows imposing travel bans on suspects of terror crimes. The meeting approved a draft law to amend some provisions of the law of property acquisition for the benefit of the public. It also agreed on a draft law to monitor electoral campaign procedures and approved a draft agreement of friendship between Bahrain's Manama and China's Wahuahan. An air services agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of Finland was approved. It reviewed the results of the national tests of the sixth grade of May 2016 and was transferred to the Supreme Council for Education and Training Development. The meeting also discussed a proposal from the Council of Representatives regarding adopting the use of international article number, the barcode. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News on Bahrain TV. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,155 points, falling 2.08 below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banking, services, industrial, hotels and tourism sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banking with 84% of total shares. 64 transactions included 9,245,726 shares, worth 678,856 BD.